I recently released a video called Velton GP200 version 1.5.0 new effects and Alexander asked a very interesting question. What's the latency increase with using a separate audio interface? Velton can be used as an audio interface but I believe the quality is far from the best. But I'm concerned if the latency would be significantly increased if I used a separate audio interface. For example, the Velton GP200 latency plus the Motu M2 latency. I replied to Alexander and told him I wasn't sure, but I would investigate and see if I could come up with a way to compare them. The first challenge was to find a method that would allow me to record using two different USB devices, but at the same time. I tried a few options, but I ended up doing my testing with the Open Broadcaster software, OBS. I'll show some screenshots of the parameters I configured in OBS that allow me to do my testing. I configured the recording format as MPEG-4 and selected tracks 1 and 2. I selected my USB devices. I named the sources under the audio mixer to help me keep track of which one was which. I was now ready to record. The output was going to be an MPEG-4 video and then I would use Audacity to import the audio and do my analysis. For the following test, I connected everything up and then would strum an A chord three times. For test one, I used a blank patch so no amp sims, cab sims, or effects. For test 1, the difference between the signal going direct into the M2 and the signal going into the GP200 and then to the M2 was 4 milliseconds. For test 1, the difference between the signal going direct into the M2 and the signal going into the GP200 and then to the computer via the USB was 41 milliseconds. For test 2, I used a patch with an amp sim and a cab sim enabled. For test 2, the difference between the signal going direct into the M2 and the signal going into the GP200 and then into the M2 was 5 milliseconds. For test 2, the difference between the signal going direct into the M2 and the signal going into the GP200 and then to the computer via the USB-C was 84 milliseconds. For test 3, I used a patch with an amp sim, a cab sim, and every effect enabled. For test 3, the difference between the signal going direct into the M2 and the signal going into the GP200 and then to the M2 was 27 milliseconds. For test 3, the difference between the signal going direct into the M2 and the signal going into the GP200 and then to the computer via the USB was 86 milliseconds. 